All right, welcome everyone to Virtual Coffee Break with Tanisha. On um, this past Tuesday, I did a training on how to use the Nextdoor app to grow your network, your local network, and to build your planet marketing business. Um, I know I've been working next app, next app, next door uh, for the last week or so. I'm kind of exclusively kind of working that um, because I really want to build my local network and to really be able to have people to invite to our Orlando meeting and our Tampa meeting, as well as to do weekly PBRs at my home. So matter of fact, today I have a three-way scheduled uh, for 4.30 with someone from the Nextdoor app. But one thing about the app, about the script that I gave you is in the script, I said, if you know, if you're interested or if you know of anyone who's looking to earn extra income, please refer them to me. So my 4.30 appointment is actually someone who was referred to me who got that message now i know many of you have ran the play uh, so i definitely want to hear from you today and answer any questions that you have so we will start with shamika who's going to take us through her running that play how you doing shamika i'm doing amazing i can't complain at all good um, so i did I had been, I had posted in the Nextdoor app previously, but it was just like pictures. And so I thought it was a great idea to put a video up there. I was like, I don't know why I didn't think of a video. So I actually, I did a do-it-yourself throne chair for my daughter's prom. And so I put that video up there. Um, I just had a little message saying, hey, I know it's been a while since I've been on here, but I'm excited about this DIY throne chair that I did for my daughter's prom. Um, what do you guys think? And so I have been getting a lot of traction um, in regards to that, especially the moms have been on there like, you're an awesome mom. And, you know, parents, we just go above and beyond. And so I've just been connecting with those people. I've waved at some people. I've sent them, you know, just genuine, having genuine conversations before I bring up the business. And so that's been doing awesome. I do have, so I saw that there was a 40 and up group, a 50 and up group, and even a 60 and up group. So I was like, hey, let's do a 30 and up group. So actually, it seems like with me posting that video and it getting a lot of traction, now a lot of people that's in my 30 plus group are um, commenting more and saying things and we're connecting on there as well. So I went on ahead and just posted something funny in that, uh, in the 30 and plus group. And so, I feel like me posting that video kind of led to them interacting more and seeing, okay, she's a real person. And so I'm excited about that, but um, definitely been building more relationships with people that's around me more. Even some of my kids' um, family members are on there um, as well. So I've been connecting with them too. So it's just been awesome. I think I, I'm almost at like 5,000 from, uh, wow. from my insights. And before it was like a hundred and something. <laughs> so wow. it's really getting up there. So I'm excited. That's awesome. That's awesome. Anybody else who run the play? Anybody else? Nobody else ran the play for the next door app? I did not hear the play because I was at work and a meeting had started, so I was trying to listen to both. So I didn't hear the play. Can you tell us what the play was? Because I well, do already have the Nextdoor app and started, you know. Just to use it, just to use the Nextdoor app. And you can watch, again, I streamed um, Tuesday's session in our Team Lux okay. group. Yeah, and it's also on my YouTube channel as well. Um, but just to, able to use it. If you weren't using it, to download it, set up a profile, uh, start using it and just build your network. Again, the main thing with using the Nextdoor app, you cannot go post about the business on your personal page. You have to keep the business conversation in the private messaging area um, and not on, cause they'll, they'll ding you for it. Now you can create a business page on Nextdoor. You can do that. And you can post all about your business. So I did create a business page for my travel agency where I can post trips and stuff like that on it. But on your personal page, you cannot prospect on your personal page like you do on um, like you do on Facebook. 
All right, so that's something to kind of keep in mind about that. Anybody use it or do a post or do anything? Any interaction? Hi, Director Burke. It's Michelle. Hey, Michelle. I did create um, a Nextdoor um, account, and I just basically got on there and just introduced myself and let them know I'm new to the app and just um, wanted to interact with my community. And that's all I said. And um, I got a few people that waved or um, they can do like surprises like cookies or yes. <laughs> or the cute hey. little um, party. Yeah, candy and stuff. So it was it was really nice. So I did get a few interactions on there. Excellent. Did you send connection requests with those people? I think I sent one. I think I only sent one. I was I didn't do the connects that fast, but I did send send one connect. So I'm waiting for that one. Yeah, send connects to anybody who engages with you. Send them a connect. Okay, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anybody else? I'm looking forward to watching the stream because as soon as I got on with you guys, five minutes in, I had a client come in. So I've got to go back and watch it. So I'm looking forward to the info. Yes, yes. I'm telling you, it's very good. I actually uh, yesterday had a three-way um, with someone from the Nextdoor app. Um, so he, I invited him to Freedom Friday because he, he didn't quite pull the trigger on it. Um, so I invited him to Freedom Friday and sent him the website link for the planet facts so he can read up on it and as well as my own personal website um, for planet marketing and i have a, a follow-up scheduled with him for saturday to see what his decision is um so uh tamika can you hold for a second thank you i'll be right back Wait, did she say Tamika or Shamika? I was looking for Tamika on you. <laughs> uh, I guess she was talking about me. Um, so I kind of give y'all, because I know it's a lot of new people that didn't get a chance to see um, the um, the Nextdoor app training that we did on Tuesday. Um, so basically, you know, Nextdoor app gives you a chance to communicate, con get connected with people who are, in your area. So it eliminates um, the people saying, well, I don't know anyone, right? Using the Nextdoor app literally gives you people that's right in your area. So um, I would definitely start there first. Um, basically, you know, just going on there and interacting with people, seeing what they're posting. Um, and if they're posting something, you know, where you like, okay, I like, I like that, right? Comment, connect with them. Um, I did used to think of waving on Facebook as like a creepy thing, but I guess it's a uh, initial contact when you're um, in the next door app. So it's okay if someone waves at you, if you feel like I felt right. So I had to wave at somebody too. I was like, well, I didn't know if I wanted to do it, but I did wave at them and just having those genuine conversations um, the same way we all should be doing, um, whether it's next door, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, wherever. Um, and so she just wants us to master some other um, applications as opposed to just all just everything is on Facebook um, because she did pose the question. So, you know, what would happen to your network of people if Facebook was to crash? Right. So we should be on all kind of forms of social media and applications. And there you go. You called me Tamika too. I said, what? Yeah, I said Tamika. Tamika. Look, I thought you said Tamika. I said, wait, is Tamika on yet? No. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, everybody, you got to diversify your social media. Um, so, so, so important because um, they could be here today, gone tomorrow. Um, and that's why I'm kind of staring away um, from Facebook a little bit and just going to some other platforms. And there's a lot of new plat social media platforms that are out there. Um, so I would encourage people to, you know, expand, right? Imagine a new social media platform coming out and you are the first in planet marketing to, you know, really start working it. And you all have the skill set, right? We've done tons and tons of training. 
on how to build your business, leveraging social media. So you all know what to do. So you just got to kind of learn the do's and don'ts of that platform and just apply it there. Um, but you'll become a lot more successful again if you don't show so much on your personal page and kind of keep the business conversation um, with the direct messaging um, platforms. Another thing that um, I want to encourage people to do um, to help you to become an influencer. You want to use attraction marketing and that's where people are kind of jumping in your inbox saying hey I want to know more about this or whatever, but in order to for you when you post stuff on social media in order for people to respond, you have to have some type of influence or they're not going to believe you they're not going to trust you with it. And you could become an influencer with anything and i've spoken about this many, many times, but I think, since we're kind of talking about the next door APP. Um, you know that this is a place too that you could kind of be known for something right what are you going to be known for right so one of the ways that um i'm going to leverage next door and to expand my influence is by giving recommendations for travel right not necessarily promoting join my business join my business nope can't do that on there but for my personal page i can become known for the person who is a travel professional right and who does recommendations and so i really started on uh it was i think it was mother's day or the day after mother's day um when my family and i went to the um rainforest cafe at Disney Springs and I did a whole review I took some pictures and I did a whole review of that experience and I shared that on next door and so I got a lot of interaction um, from people who um, either thought about going there or some people who went there and they validated you know my assessment of the place whatever so I'm gonna do more of that as far as rec making recommendations when it comes to travel um, so that they know me as a travel professional. So what is something that you can do on your uh, social media to build influence? What's going to be your area of expertise that you want to be known for? Who wants to share? Well, quickly. I'll I will do the same thing. So hotel reviews, um, restaurant reviews, and also a weekly um, travel showcase, just showcasing the latest travel deals, packages that are out there, reasons to use um, a travel agent or a travel business professional, and why you should have travel insurance. So things like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So with that, Felicia, if you're going to do that, where are you planning to do that at? I'm gonna do it on Facebook. I'm gonna to try to make it really quick. Well, I'm gonna work on, not try. I'm gonna work on making it, you know, anywhere between maybe 10 minutes, 10 to 15, 12 minutes, but having that call to action towards the end for people that, hey, if this is something that you would like to learn more of how you can do the same thing, please reach out to me. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that'll work really, really well um, on Facebook. Um, it'll also work well on Instagram. Again, if you want to promote your travel agency business um, using Nextdoor, you need to create a business page. Only if you do a business page can you do that. Because um, if you start promoting business and stuff on your personal page for Nextdoor, you're going to get dinged for that, for violating their guidelines. So you got to be very, very, very careful with that. And don't go getting a whole bunch of dings because then you'll ruin it for the rest of us because then they'll start and create they'll make you know put more restrictions on it if they see a whole bunch of people coming over there trying to promote their business and stuff like that so i'm giving you all the guidelines that you need now if you want to promote your business on next door you must create a business page and to use your personal page on next door to um you know, to meet your neighbors, to support your community, add value to the community. Um, 
on next door, what you can do is uh, check out the local restaurants in the community, right? So as you go to these different places, you can provide reviews for places like that, right? Um, ask for recommendations for certain things, right? Let's say you need uh, a landscaper, right? Going on next door and asking for recommendations for a landscaper, that's a great way to start engaging with your local neighbors. Um, it's also going to be a great page. I don't know if some of you remember, I have a video called, and I'll post the link um, in the description section called Your Network is Your Net Worth. And on there, I talk about, you know, joining a group that you have a special interest in and then adding your picture and introducing yourself and saying that you're looking for new friends and what type of friends are you looking for, right? So, oh, I'm looking for the spa friend, the wine tasting friend, the brunch friend, the, you know, and then you'll get other people who will also want to make friends like that. And then you guys meet up for, for, you know, for breakfast or for brunch or something like that. Maybe you meet and go shopping or something. So that's a next door is a great way to run that play. I'm looking for new friends because now you have the people right in your neighborhood that you're making these new friends with. Uh, so let me check some of the comments here. Tanisha, yes. if I may. Yes. When, when you go to start on the next door, you'll get the question, continue with Google or continue with Facebook? What, what's the best? I created my own username matter. and password. I never like to connect one app using the login from another. I like to create, originate my own email and password for it. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So when it's asking you those questions, it's basically saying, do you want to be able to log in with the same username and password, um, you know, from those other apps? So I don't do that. And again, my main reason for not doing that is what if those apps disappear? <laughs> right. I rather have my unique email um, and password every time I'm working with a new app. Thank you, Shamika. Shamika posted the video I'm talking about. Your network is your net worth. In there, I talk about, again, how to run the I'm looking for a new friend. Um, and I can show you, I'm going to see if I can find it. Uh, oh, actually, it's right here. I'm going to show you the meme that I created and I ran it in a group, a decorating group on so here it is so this is one that you can do use this on next door i'm looking for some more girlfriends i'm not the club friend anymore i have evolved i'm the brunch friend the spa friend the wine tasting friend i'm the day trip for dinner in another city friend i'm the chill on the lanai with cocktails discussing ideas i'm making money friend i'm in central florida so if you live in the area and you vibe with what I'm saying, feel free to send me a friend request. So you may want to, you know, tweak this, right? I'll probably run this, but I'm going to tweak it and say, send me a connection request. Um, instead of me saying Central Florida, I may say Providence because um, the Nextdoor app is very neighborhood specific. So I may show, you know, I may say I'm in Providence um, or I'm off of 1792, something like that. Um, or I might say Polk County, something like that, um, to make it a little bit more specific um, to my neighborhood. Um, and then those people that I make the connection with, um, you know, set something up for us to meet. Uh, I have a membership I just signed up, uh, actually a couple months ago, for Hand and Stone. So every month I go for... Um, for a massage. So whoever sends me a connection request, maybe I invite them to go with me to my, you know, to the spa appointment next, next month, you know, and maybe we meet for either lunch or breakfast um, right before. 
so you know we can get to know each other there's a wine um a winery not too far from my house so anybody who sends me a connection request i can say hey let's meet for lunch at the winery you know or something like that so this really will help you running this play on next door could be really beneficial to jumping jumping that off for you Tiffany said, I love that script. Awesome. I'll go back. I'm going to show it again so some of you can take a picture of it and then you just tweak it for whatever you like. But just to kind of give you an idea. So go ahead and um, take your pictures and I'm going to go over to Facebook. Do we have any comments on Facebook? Hey, Laura. Hey, Natisha. Oh, Natisha says she was doing some promoting on there. Good, good. Yeah, you don't want to promote on there. Trust me, they'll they'll send you a message <laughs> and send you the guidelines. Like, uh, I had to challenge one of them. Um, they actually this morning uh, dinged me for my good morning post. And I'm like, it's a good morning post. What are you talking about? It's not violating any guidelines. I'm asking people, what are they doing for fitness? That sort of thing. So, all right. Any questions? Questions about anything? It could be about next door, social media, anything. Any questions about anything? I have a question. Yes. Hey, Lawanda, how are you? I'm doing good. Um. Anybody ever did it on WhatsApp? I don't like WhatsApp. It's just to communicate. It's not a social network. Okay. I don't have one. I was just asking because I see them all the time everywhere. Yeah. So WhatsApp in relation to growing your planet marketing business, WhatsApp mm -hmm. is a great communication tool for people who live international. So for example, I have um, at two o'clock, I have a request for more information on my calendar. Well, this young lady lives, I think she lives in the UK, right? So if I'm going to call her, it's going to be through WhatsApp. So I can make an internet call and not, you know, get a whole bunch of charges on my phone. Or I may just um, send her my Zoom link and we just have our three way on Zoom. Okay. But yeah, it's not WhatsApp is just for, uh, you know, texting and making a phone call. It is not a social media platform to engage and build a network on. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Great question. Great question. Uh, Felicia said, since school is out, I think it would be a good idea to connect with others locally by meeting up with other grandmothers at the park nearby. Yep, that's great, too. That is great too. Or putting together a, a meetup at a place where people can bring their children, right? So if let's say, for example, you have young, you know, middle, middle school age kids or elementary school kids, right? Maybe you could say, hey, I wanted to get together, you know, with other moms and their elementary school aged kids and go to such and such a place for the day with the kids you know the kids can have fun we could network or whatever that's the type of stuff that would do very very well on next door right or um there's people on there who maybe maybe you do a business networking thing that could be another thing that you put up you know to create uh, a meetup, you know, at a place with people who have businesses so that y'all can get together and share what you do, right? That would do well on WhatsApp, I mean, on uh, Nextdoor. Or if you're into arts and crafts or something like that, you know, putting together something where people can come together to do their arts and crafts. Or, you know, if there's a, you know, here in Florida, we have a ton of um, pop up events you know, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, you know, people have vendor tables, vendor events, 
you know, so that's another thing to say, hey, there's a, you know, a vendor event or there's a craft show or something going on such a place who wants to meet up and we all go together, right? So that's good. What's lemon eight? What are you saying, Lawanda? Well, oh, there's a new... Yeah, somebody you else were talking about the new social media platforms and Lemonade was one of the ones I came across in one of the Facebook groups. Hmm. Um, and it's just, a, it's, it's kind of a mix between Instagram and Pinterest. Okay. But it's a place where you can co actually connect with people. Um, they are a little bit tight as far as what you can post. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of lifestyle, beauty, clothing tips, that type of stuff. Um, mm -hmm that that's uh on there but it's it's a pretty cool app it's been out for a while but i literally just heard about it but it makes sense as you've been telling us to diversify our social media platforms mm -hmm. absolutely yep this is the first time i'm hearing about it uh, christina has a question she says i'm doing a big vendor show in chicago and i'm going to showcase my travel business but i also invited my director to join me to help me recruit new planet reps this is my first showcase. Lots of people will come from more than more than 3000. Do not know if they will visit, but do you have any motivational promotional marketing advice for this type of project I'm doing? So, Christina, are you when you go there, you have to choose. Are you going to be operating as an Intel travel travel agent or are you operating as a planet marketing rep? That's my first question. Well, um, Candace is my director and um, I'm trying to do this to go ahead and promote my business, but at the same time branch out to help people uh, know about the, um, you know, the opportunity of this. So I actually am going to slightly do both, but I'm going to do my travel, but can't my do director, both. that's why I, I can't do you. both. No, so that's why, right. that's why I brought my director with me to see if she could uh, help promote that side for me. That's why, because yeah. I know she'll benefit from it too. So yeah, that's why I'm asking your advice. Yeah, so it goes against compliance to do both. So you have to decide, is your table going to be your IntelliTravel table or is it going to be your planet marketing table? Now, one of the things that, um, again, so you have to choose. Having, having Director White there doesn't change that at all you still have to choose with which one you're going to promote. Now, if you decide to do your travel agency business, right? And you have your travel agency name, um, you have your travel agency business cards, maybe you have a pull-up banner, uh, you share some information about, you know, 15 reasons why you should book with a travel agent. Maybe you have a group trip put together so maybe you have some flyers regarding that group trip of you know what the deposit is um you know the price and the itinerary so people can take those people who may be interested in booking that group trip and then if you want to i would suggest doing some type of raffle or giveaway something where you can collect people's names phone numbers and email address because then those people, now you get to add them to your list, right? Because those people are showing that they're interested in travel. And so after the event, now you have their contact information and you can prospect them. You know, hey, you know, thank you for stopping by my table. You know, such and such travel agency uh, wanted to reach out to see if you had any upcoming trips that you were planning. Um, or if you are interested um, in learning how you can become a travel advisor as well. You can do something like that. Does that make sense? Yes, it sounds great. That's exactly what I wanted to know because um, I, I know that I can't, I didn't want to comply, go against compliance with the business. So that's why I was asking and I joined today to go ahead and see your approach because I know that you got um, your three-star director. So I know I wanted to get your opinion before anything, you know? <laughs> So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to end up doing. That sounds great. That sounds a perfect thing to do to just collect their information. And then gradually, as I reel them in and just see what they want to do with travel in their life and just find out their situation, then open the doors to plan net. 
So that's secondary. Okay, sounds great. Thank you. I needed that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good luck with that. And let us know how you do with that. Um, I would, you might want to have um, uh, something that has another suggestion for that. Have something that has your QR code that maybe goes to your IntelliTravel website. So when people are going by, they can scan it and you can encourage them to register on your site. That's another way to collect their uh their email and contact information as well um you know definitely have cards and stuff to give out and yeah that should be good great question great question anybody else uh rochelle said can we use the friend post on instagram no that would work on instagram i don't see why you couldn't use that on instagram i don't know how well it will do on instagram I'm not a big fan of IG. I don't know. It's just me. It seems so impersonal. And it just seems like, I don't know. It comes off to me as like just people bragging about stuff. I don't know. I just, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. Director Burke, I saw you had your hand up. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Yeah, I was piggybacking off of uh, what she had said, like um, about having a vendor table. I have been asked this and I didn't know the answer to the question. What if you have two vendor tables, like one person promotes a business on one vendor table and the other person uh, promotes the, um, the travel opportunity on the other? Could, could, could you do something yeah. like that? If Katrina wanted, Director Wright wanted to participate in that event, she can go as the planet marketing person and Christina can be there to, you know, to represent her travel agency business. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Actually, that's what I was thinking of doing after you said that I couldn't mix the two businesses together. I was thinking that maybe since I did invest $500 on this booth, maybe I could be able to do that as well and just get another table where Candace could work out of and just representing the team like that to just get them in there and, you know, get the stuff going. Because that's what should we really our intentions were was to just basically be, get some new reps for uh, Plan Net, because we know there's going to be a lot of people there that are looking for better opportunities in their life. And so because the community, not to be like that, but the community is not that rich, but it is a community that's coming up. And I want to bring the people of the heritage. Well, let me tell you what it is. It's a Fiesta de, Pat de Patrones de Boricua. So it's the Puerto Rican Festival in Humble Park in Chicago, Illinois. Very well known. Over millions of people show up there. And um, that's why I don't want to miss my chance to go ahead and have Candace help me out with this because I've only been doing this since March 25th. So um, and I have goals and I'm trying to make this goal and I'm trying to get to the top at, by the end of this year. So I'm trying to have motivation that doing this booth and representing Plan Nets in one side area will bring me up to the level that I want to be at towards the end of this year. Absolutely. But I can tell you with um, vendors, vendor events, just kind of representing Planet Marketing, it's very hard. It just doesn't attract a lot of people representing that side of the business. You, I would highly recommend focusing on the travel side and collecting their information and then going after the fact to recruit them. I've done both. Um, and you just, travel is just something that's attractive to people. So that's gonna encourage more people to come. You know, when they see travel and flights and you know, it's just something that, and especially with us going into summertime, right? And maybe, uh, Christina, you have information about um, a trip. Put a group trip together for Puerto Rico, right? Because you may get some Boricuas who are like, yeah, I want to go back home, you know? And you already got a trip, something planned out. You got to get their information first. You got to kind of use, use the vendor event to network and not necessarily to recruit. You're not gonna do too well if you go specifically to recruit because just having a table with, you know, the planet marketing banner and your planet, it doesn't, it's not an attractive table to wanna come to because people don't even know what planet marketing is. So they'll just walk right past it. And here's the test. How many of you have gone to a vendor event and there was a name of a company, the name didn't really tell you much about what it was and you just walked past it. Right? We've all done yes, it. Yes, yes. So going wearing your planet marketing hat, you're not 
planet marketing in and of itself, the name of it doesn't speak to what we do. It's kind of confusing to people until we have the opportunity to have a conversation with them. But if you can't even get them to your table, you can't even have the conversation with them because they're just going to keep walking by. But if you're promoting your travel agency, right, the name, I don't know, Christina, what's the name of your travel agency and you have all stuff at your table related to travel, that's going to attract a lot of people over to you. And now you have the opportunity. And the other thing with vendor events is you have about 10 seconds to speak to somebody. And that's just not enough time to really prospect them. It's just not. So, and, and if you're talking about 3000 people, you just, you might have 15 people come over to your table, but you're not gonna be able to speak to all of them. So it's kind of, and then if you do find that one person that has a lot of questions, now you're ignoring the other 10 people that are at your table. So operating as a planet marketing rep is extremely challenging. This is why I created the peak interest business cards. And I highly recommend you have those there now because those you'll be able to give out as you're walking through, right? And have someone at the table with you so that they could be at the table and you could be out and about with your peak interest business cards and make sure you collect the card of every single vendor that's at that event, add them to your list and make sure you give them your peak interest business cards. So it's an exchange. You collect their card, but then you give them your peak interest business cards. Peak interest business cards are perfect for vendor events because you will not have enough time to have a conversation with someone. But by that, by them receiving that peak interest business card, it shows them everything that you didn't have the time to say. Does that make sense, Christina? Yes, it does. And I really like that idea of getting all the vendors business cards, because to be honest, when I first booked my booth with this, the events coordinator asked me to schedule all the flights and arrangements of hotels for all the famous artists that were coming. But I was only three weeks into this and I wasn't prepared for it. So I count, I sounded a little bit stuttery when I answered her. And I seen that I seen that she sensed my incompetence towards it because I wasn't fully loaded with everything yet and I was just getting registered with all these vendors so I had to reject it and she didn't she didn't give it to me because I guess she sensed that I was shaky on it mm -hmm. but um I I want to get the business cards and I want to show up strong here so then she could utilize me for next year right right yeah and I would just you know reach out to her and say you know I'd love the opportunity to do that next year for you I'm just not prepared to do that this year and if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right. You know, people will respect that, you know, um, and definitely keep in touch with her. So that's good. Wendy? Hi. Um, I don't, are you, the peak interest cards, those are the regular business cards or are they something different? Uh, I'll show you. So first, let me just give you a little background on what these peak interest business cards are when me and my best friend started this business we worked at a job where we would get in trouble if we tried to talk to our co-workers about this business opportunity and so we created business cards um that we could use to just hand out to them so that we couldn't get in trouble like we could just go by their desk and kind of slip them a card <laughs> so that's how the peak interest business cards came about um and so here's just an example and you all could take a picture design your own but this card says everything that i would want to say to someone that i may not have the time to say to them as far as recruiting and then on the back of the card I have a QR code that goes to the big picture video. This QR code goes to my online calendar. So this is great to use in instances where you don't have a lot of time to talk to people, whether it be, you know, the drive through at your, you know, your favorite coffee place or whether it be you know, the grocery store cashier, you don't have a lot of time to talk to them. So you give them this or maybe you go out to eat 
and the server, you know, that's serving your table. You don't have a lot of time to talk to them, but they may have had a great personality and you want to pique them. You can use this card because this card gives them everything um, that you would want to say, but you may not have the time to say. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, it does. It, it absolutely does. Excellent. 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 Netta says, I love that card. I have been pitching a 30 second speech like the elevator. And exactly, you got to have that 30, that 30 second elevator pitch, you know, because you may only have 30 seconds to pique someone's interest. And then boom, now you can follow it up with that peak interest business card. Because again, as much as I love and I have, let me, uh, I have a ton of my Planet Marketing Black cards. I have my Planet... So these peak interest cards are not to replace your Planet Marketing Black cards. If I go out to eat with a group of ladies and we all have a conversation and I have the opportunity to talk about what I do and da 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 da, I'm going to leave them with my Planet Marketing Black card because I've already I've had lunch with them and I had that time over lunch to have a conversation with them. They know what I do, blah, 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 blah. But in the instance where I'm going through a drive through or a checkout counter, I don't have that kind of time. So that's where the peak interest business cards are going to come in. But in and of itself, if I was doing a vendor event, and let's say I want, let's say I decided I wanted to be the planet, wear my planet marketing hat at this vendor event. Again, I'm not going to have my black cards because I don't have the time to really talk to the people about what I do, I'm gonna have my peak interest cards for a vendor event. Because looking at the black card, it doesn't tell you what we do. So that's the card that's gonna end up either in the trash or in someone's drawer. But the peak interest card, because it gives more information, people are gonna keep that card. Uh, Denise said, what about using the peak ITA and peak rep codes? You could do that. Yeah, you could put whatever QR you want on the back of your card. That's that's an that's an opportunity as well. Yep. Director Burke. Yeah, I did. Um, you know, I merged the two videos together into one and sent the uh link there it connects to that particular seven minute video, you know, and it's just the peak rep, peak ITA. And if they want more information and boom, they can get on the calendar and then we can schedule a business conversation and then I can send them a big picture with you. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can do that as well. So you can put whatever, you know, videos or whatever QR codes. Some people might want a QR code to go to the Planet Facts website. Some people have the QR code go to their planet marketing page. Somebody might have a QR code go to one of the uh, 30 minute webinar presentations. It's, it's up to you. It's up to you. Let me go over to Facebook and see any comments. Hey, Pamela, Pamela, how are you? Flea markets and farmer markets. Mm-hmm. Hey, Tyrese. <laughs> Tarsha says, I don't really like IG either. <laughs> yeah, I just never really got into it. Never got into it. The other benefit of joining a brand new social media platform is if the platform allows you to create a group, you could be the one to create that first group where tens of thousands of people join it. Tens of thousands, right? So that's another benefit to joining a brand new social media platform is now you could be the one to create the group that just everybody and their mother wants to join it. Any other questions, comments, feedback? Anybody do anything we could celebrate? 
I got a new business partner. Congratulations. Tell us about them, Felicia. How did you meet them? Um, it was a social media post from last year. I peaked her last year. She said that she had some other businesses going and it wouldn't be a good time, but that she would consider it um, the first part of this year. So I kind of kept in contact with her, of course, you know, happy birthday. Hey, I saw that. I saw this. And recently she reached out and she said, I'm ready. And I said, okay. And so I got her on the webinar. She got on the webinar and she was like, I was holding my breath when they were going, when, when they were announcing the price. And she said, I thought you guys were going to say maybe like thousands of dollars. And I was going to have to talk to my husband. And she said, when you guys said $200, she said, I knew I could do it. She said, I kept seeing you post all the brand new business partners. And she said, I kept thinking to myself, that could have been me. Mm -hmm. And so she joined. I love it. I love it. I love it. Two things I heard you say. Number one, you kept in touch. Yes. And it wasn't about, oh, join a business, join a business. No, it's, you know, happy birthday, you know, commenting on her post. Very good. Right. You were building rapport. And number two, announcing new business partners i'm telling y'all that tool works announcing a new business partner if somebody new joins team lux platinum go ahead and shout them out on your personal page because it will show the people that are following you hey our company is growing without you don't keep watching join us that's what that'll do so it kind of helps the people who are on the fence. It kind of gives them a little nudge. So that's good. Congratulations, Felicia. Anybody else? Anything we could celebrate? Well, um, I, I'm, I'm happy because my daughter is actually graduating from high school um, this weekend. So I, I, I'm super proud of her. She broke some generational curses with this one. So it, it, it hit home. So I'm happy That's about that. Awesome. Congratulations. That's great. So Shamika, is she uh gonna join the business? Oh, absolutely. I already told her she'd travel business on it because her birthday is June 28th. There we <laughs> so go. She already, yeah, she already knows. So she ready. That's, That's awesome. That's awesome. Congratulations. Anybody else? Anything we could celebrate? I'm gonna go over to Facebook to our team group we have a lot of congratulations again if you did not watch um tuesday's video go to my youtube channel and pull up what was tuesday's date i don't know the 23rd watch the may 23rd uh video for virtual coffee break on how to use the next door app to grow your business. It's very, very good. Like I said, right now, I'm kind of almost exclusively working next door. And it's just so easy. So the other good thing that I love about it, we got about six minutes before I have uh, my one o'clock. Um, but the other thing I love about it is, remember how I was telling everyone you need to, uh, Shamiko, can you post my um, YouTube link? please in the chat. Thank you. Um, the other thing that I love about using next door, remember I told everyone you should have a weekly goal for how many people you are going to peak a weekly goal for how many people you're going to peak. Right? So maybe it's, you know, 35 people for you. Maybe it's 70 people, whatever. It depends on how many hours you are committing to work your business every single week right and so let's say your goal is you know 35 for the week and you say you know what i'm going to peak five people a day i'm gonna break it down to five people a day well it's just so easy for me to just go to next door and the people that i wave to who wave back i send them my introduction post guess what that counts as a peak for me that counts as a peak for me because i'm telling them what i do and I'm asking them if, you know, if they're interested in additional streams of income or if they know of anybody to please refer them to me. So for me, that's a peak. 
that's a peak for me. And so like this morning after my walk, I'm sitting at my desk, looking at my calendar, boom, go. I probably sent way more than five. I probably sent closer to 10 today. And so imagine if I do that every day, I'm peaking 10 people a day just by my introduction post saying what I do. And that's a peak. That's a peak. I could do that every day, easy. And I was like, after I did, I was like, for the most part, I'm kind of done working my business for today. Aside from responding back to people and maybe doing a post in my travel group or, you know what I'm saying? Or working on a, a quote or something. But the meat and potatoes, the PS3, it's like I got my peaks out the way. So now I'm just waiting on responses. Shamika? Uh, one thing I can say that I have been doing more of this week um, from the last team uh, meeting that we had last Thursday was sending out business cards. I don't know why I stopped doing that. But this week, I've been at minimum sending out at minimum 15 business cards a day. Um, and it's just phenomenal how many people actually viewed the card and how many people actually went on my website and checked it out. I've got a couple of not right nows. I got some people scheduled to get on the Zoom tomorrow. And so I would say definitely send those business cards out too, because that has been helping me to even repeat the people that that I've spoken to years ago. Maybe they watched the video and maybe we never got to the three or, you know, so um, those business cards have been awesome sauce and sending them straight through the app is even better because I get to see if they viewed it or not, so. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Divorce, what was your question about California? Is it about the, for the next door app? You could just update if you have a next door account for California, you could just update it with your new address for Georgia. Divorce is going to have next door app for both California and Georgia. I wouldn't do that. That's too much work. You want to work smarter, not harder. When I moved from Bavard County to Polk County, I just changed my address. Who want who wants to work? A next door app for one state, then work another one for another state. Then you got Instagram, then you got Facebook, then you got, that's too much. Work smarter <laughs> and work with, you're not in California. So what difference does it make? If you're not in California, why would you try to build a relationship with the community that you're not even in to meet up with people? It's kind of counterproductive. Cause they'll be like, oh, let's meet for coffee. And you're like, well, I'm actually in Georgia now. They're gonna be like, what? Why are you on here? <laughs> totally defeating the purpose. So no, just change your address on that California one to show that you are now in Georgia. And guess what? That is a great conversation starter. Hey, I'm new to the area. Need to meet some, you know, like-minded professionals. Blah blah blah. blah. That's how you work that, Felicia. uh okay uh director green just one really quick question when you um connect with folks when you say you send out your into your introductory uh text mm -hmm. do you send it out to them immediately right after they accept your friend request or your connection request you'll send that introduction to them great question so when i send a connection request to someone and they accept it Right, you get a notification that, hey, so and so, you know, connected with you, wave. I send them a wave. And then once they wave back, then I send my introduction to introduce myself. Okay. So I wave at them once mm -hmm. they accepted the connection, and then I wait for them to wave back. Because now I know I have them engaged and then I send my introduction. But I always wait until they have waved back at me. Okay. And that's the introduction where you're attaching the two peak interest videos. No, I'm not attaching any videos. Um, what I'm sending, hold on, I'll show it on here and you can take a picture of it. Let me zoom in. Director Burke, I have the same question. So thank you. Uh-huh. Yep. So let me share my screen. So 
so this is mine hey there but i do change this to say either good morning Yvette, or good morning michael i thought i'd take a moment to properly introduce myself my name is tanisha and it's nice to connect with you on here i'm born and raised in new york but my family husband and son and i have been living in florida since 2010 hubby and i are entrepreneurs we love florida and wouldn't want to live anywhere else except for maybe a vacation beach home in belize laugh out loud i'm a marketing director who helps people who want to earn extra income start their own home base business in the sexiest and most lucrative industry in the world travel please keep me in mind if you or anyone you know is looking to earn extra income from home or planning a trip. What do you do? Then okay. if they say, you know, they're interested or they want more information, then I'll send them the second part. Um, you know, I'm a marketing director. I help people want to earn extra income from home, start their own home-based travel business. I've been a travel business owner since 2016. Within three years, I was able to retire myself and my husband from our corporate jobs and create a six-figure residual income. I also have several other six-figure income earners in my organization. I currently have an organization of over 3,900 travel business owners from all over the world, and I'm looking to expand. This business opportunity may or may not be for you, but it's definitely worth taking a look at. Here are two short videos, four minutes and three minutes to review. And then I send them the preview ITA and preview rep. If you're interested, click this link to schedule an appointment for more information. Now, if you are brand new in the business and you don't have the documentation like I have, then share the documentation of the company. Share that we've booked 1.63 you know, uh, billion dollars in travel. Share that Planet Marketing has um, paid out over $100 million in uh, commissions. Um, share that, you know, in seven years, we're 92,000 strong, right? So you can share that type of documentation and just kind of, you know, where you're going, what, what's your end goal with this, right? Maybe you're looking to retire um, yourself within the next three to five years. Maybe you're looking to become debt free in a certain amount of time or buy your first home, but, you know, share your quick story here. So everybody take a screenshot of that and just tweak it uh, for yourself. Does that answer your question, Director Green? It does, it does. Because you know, we always talk about you must build rapport, you must build rapport. Right. So that's why I wanted to know how quickly do you, you introduce yourself and um, do you wait like a day or two once they've accepted it? That's just like the birthday. You know, when you send, send someone a happy birthday, I'm under the impression you don't dare talk about your business, you know, probably the next two days. Hey, I hope you enjoyed your birthday. By the way, right. just curious. I see right. that you're an amazing Mary Kay rep. Do you uh, keep your income options open? Right, right. Yeah, the moment they wave back at me, I go right in because I got to keep it moving. I got to keep it moving. And because I'm saying other things in the message, it's not like I'm just there to prospect them. Right, okay. I'm there to introduce myself. So it's it's different. Okay. All right. Thank you. That was awesome. You're welcome. All right, everyone. It's one oh, I have a quick question. Can you hear yes. me? Yes. Okay. So the thing about it, because you know, I'm in transition still here. And so I really don't know areas, but I think what I'll have to do is like, so I guess I'm going to select the area that my PO box is in and um, just kind of go from there. And because Marietta is a decent area um, of Georgia. So I just go for you. I wish me luck because I'm sure I'm going to change my address. Absolutely, absolutely. And you can target different audiences because you, you don't have to just, it's gonna pick up based on the address you put in there, but I can still send connection requests to people who live in Tampa, which is like an hour from me. So I'm not limited um, okay. who I can connect with. It's just that it's it, they started based on where you live. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank You're you welcome. guys. Thank you. All right, everyone. Well, that concludes virtual coffee break today. I hope everyone found value and some nuggets that they can take and execute. So I will see you all next week. And Charmaine, I need to end this one and jump back on. All right. So have a great day, everyone. 
Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Peace.